In late 2016, I went to Barcelona and visited the Cosmo Caixa Museum to study this new specimen. When I first saw this thing, I was kind of blown away because it's quite incredible. It's one of the most improbable fossils you'll ever see. This is an 8.5 meter long drag mark created by a dead animal. What had happened is you have an empty shell, or at least partially empty shell, where there must have been some gas that remained inside the ammonite shell. So you, ammonites have this uh, arrangement of gas chambers. They kind of moved a little bit like a submarine up and down using the gas. And it must have been that some of this gas had remained in the shell, because otherwise, when the shell would have hit the lagoon floor, it would have just fallen over. In this case, it didn't, and it just rested on the lagoon floor. But with this steady and, and calm current, it very slowly but surely dragged the ammonite along the, the lagoon floor until eventually it touched down completely and fell over. The study specimen is about 150 million years old from the latest part of the Jurassic period. It's from the famous Solnhofen lithographic limestones in southern Germany where lots of exceptional fossils have been found, including perhaps most famously Archaeopteryx, so-called dino bird, the transition between birds and dinosaurs. When I began to write up the results of this study, I contacted a colleague of mine, Dr. Peter Forkingham at Liverpool John Moores University, who I know does excellent work on trace fossils. And although this obviously isn't a trace fossil, it is something quite different because it's not made by the animal in life. Peter was an excellent person to have on board with this. He did some wonderful stuff with the photogrammetry. But also, I wanted to speak to colleagues in Germany, and I got chatting to Dr. Gunter Schweiger from the Stuttgart Natural History Museum, who was also very intrigued by this study. And together, working with Peter, Gunter, and also Alex Jimenez from the Cosmo Cax Museum, we've managed to bring this new study to life. And I really hope you enjoy it, because I find it truly a fascinating, fascinating fossil.